Hi Aquarius, welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your support. This is gonna be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September, 2021. We're gonna take a look at what's going on um, in your current life situation. Um, Please keep in mind that this is a general reading for a very large collective, so it's normal and natural if some or none of this resonates. If at any time it does resonate, please hit that like button so other Aquarius can see this video. And if you're interested, um, my Instagram information is in the description box below, and I do post weekly live readings for the collective as well as post readings for the Zodiac Collective. All right, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with my cleansing and blessing and see what Spirit has to say. Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Mother, Father, God, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Aquarius in regards to their current life situation, life journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide Aquarius with guidance, clarity, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception on what soul lessons and soul cycles Aquarius may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are, in all that you do, in all that I am, in all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. All right, Aquarius, so I have to point this out. I feel like some of you are either noticing or recognizing that something feels or is backwards right now in your life. And I say that because when I started my blessing, spirit i said it backwards i i said something first that i usually don't say first um so i'm getting the intuitive feeling that that's just kind of the energy that's been surrounding you like things aren't making sense right now you're a little bit confused with the energy that's surrounding you so let's see um what comes through here holy spirit Messages of clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their current life situation, please. So let's see what we have. Current energy around you, wow, is the Empress. Okay, so you have Empress energy. Some of you could be expecting, some of you could be pregnant, um, or you are in this Empress energy of being your divine self and creating and building the life that you want. What's blocking the Empress is the Nine of Swords. So a lot of confusion. That's Gemini energy there. A lot of confusion, a lot of um, anxiety and worries. The root cause is the Three of Wands. You're trying to plan your future. You're trying to create, yeah, with this empress, it's like you're trying to create and build an empire here and manifest what you want. But there's a lot of worries and fears that seem to be blocking it from happening. Uh, the recent past, you have the four of pentacles. So very closed off. Um, somebody may have been very controlling in the past, okay, not really open to new ideas or new ways of doing things. Somebody very stuck. The energy that's surrounding you and wants to come in is the Eight of Pentacles. So very focused, hardworking energy um, could have to do with career, but it's about completing the task at hand, okay? Uh, immediate future, you have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Some of you could be in a committed relationship or you will be receiving some type of commitment. This is emotional fulfillment in all areas of life. Your current energy is the Queen of Cups. The other person's energy towards you is the Five of Cups. Your hopes and fears is the Wheel of Fortune. And the probable outcome is the Six of Swords. Let me get some past history here. You have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. Wow, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Prince of Wands. 
All right, overall energy on the bottom of the deck, three of swords, yeah. And I see that over here. So there's definitely some type of betrayal, some type of heartbreak here. Um, and that's why you have this nine of swords, anxiety and fear. So something happened that was just totally off base, right? It didn't make sense. It felt backwards. Um, I feel that in the recent past, it was like things were going very good. You felt established here with this king of pentacles. Okay. Could have been a commitment with somebody, um, an earth sign doesn't have to be, but I feel your career was going good. Your money was good. And there was somebody in your life that you were committed to. And then you have the five of swords and the two of swords. So, and then ace of wands, prince of wands. So an apology came in, but something happened. There was either a disagreement, an argument, hurt words. Somebody just ghosted. They just stopped caring, it seemed like, or they just stopped communicating. And either you or they blocked one another because it's two of swords. It's like nothing was coming in. No information, no clarity, not speaking. And it was giving this energy of betrayal. It's giving this energy of manipulation, deceit, and lies, okay? However, this person came back with an apology and wanting to make things right. The problem is they were not a king. They came back as a prince, which is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is they have amazing dreams. They're a great talker because everything that they're imagining at that moment, they're able to communicate clearly. And it's kind of like telling you what you want to hear. But the Prince of Wands really has no desire to stick around in some place for too long, okay? And I feel like this person portrayed themselves as a King of Pentacles, somebody who was stable and committed, and they weren't. So for some of you, because there's a separation happening between you and this person, for those of you who are pregnant or just recently or will find out this month that you are pregnant, I feel that this reading is about you having to make a decision because you want to walk away from this connection but now you're pregnant for others of you. And I will read it for others of you. Um, this has to do with a new beginning. This has to do with you taking power back in your life and creating the life that you want for yourself, right? This is you being the empress and choosing the path for you. What do you need to do Aquarius? to make sure that you are in empress mode and building your empire and manifesting and creating the life that you want. You're struggling with it. You're struggling with knowing which direction to go here because the root cause is a change of plans. The three of wands is here. You're looking out to your future, trying to figure out, okay, how do I bring all this together? Which way do I go? But you're unable to take action on anything because of all of the anxiety and, and, sadness and fears within with this nine of swords. I feel like this is something that keeps you up late at night that is very, very confusing and very, very difficult for you, okay? So let's get some clarity here. Holy Spirit, clarify the Empress, please. What is this Empress representing? Ten of swords. Yeah, this is, the Empress is representing you wanting to become like the Phoenix, right? You've been through a really hard time here. Something definitely ended. There's definitely some type of ending or betrayal, separation. You feel stabbed in the back. You feel as though this person has taken advantage of you to the core. Um, you've lost something that was very valuable to you. You've lost something that was very valuable to you. And on the bottom of the deck, you have karma. So this may be your karma for something in a past life or this life that you did to others and, you know, don't get triggered, but this is just truth. Or it may be this person's karma. And unfortunately you were the victim in it. So somebody is receiving their karma. And because of that, something had to end something, some type of painful ending took place and it is causing you a lot of um, anxiety, a lot of worries. Okay. Cause you're wondering what's going to happen in the future. What does this mean for my future? In the recent past, you have the four of pentacles. 
I just am getting this strong, like, I usually don't get this energy from the Four of Pentacles, but for some reason I am today, but I'm getting, like, conflict. Somebody who didn't open up very much, was very stuck in their ways, and they were kind of combative, right? They were combative. They want to make their own decisions. They're kind of controlling. So let's see what I can get here. Holy Spirit, clarify the Four of Pentacles for the recent past of this situation. Could even been like money disagreements between you and somebody on how to spend money or where to invest money. Whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Forgive me. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to take all three of them. But the only card that flipped over was Soulmates, which is a lover's card. So this is about a connection, a love connection. Um, I feel like not wanting to let go as well. You have the Pathfinder, which is the Page of Pentacles. And then you have the Shapeshifter, which is the Knight of Wands. It's like I said before, this person... It, it's almost like this person tricked you. Somebody made you an offer, made you a promise that was everything you wanted to hear, right? Um, but they were still only a page and a knight. They weren't a king. This person may have tried to apologize for things in the past, but what I'm seeing here with this page of pentacles and the four is ghosting energy with the five. This person abandoned or ghosted or left a situation or didn't clarify something right after they sold you this dream it was like now there's a separation and nothing moved forward nothing was able to move forward and there's this energy of there was a commitment there was a love energy and you had this vision of it being victorious and now it's something different okay um, the energy surrounding you is the Eight of Pentacles. Very focused energy, trying to perfect something, trying to figure out how to make something work, okay? So let's see, forgive me. Holy Spirit, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're trying to, you're being so detailed and so meticulous because you have to find a way for this to work. You're like, it just has to work. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, yeah. How can we pick up and move forward? You're trying to release the anxiety and the pain of this burden here with the Ten of uh, Wands. So you're very focused. You're trying to get things aligned and in order. How do I fix this? How do we take this burden, take this stress, and turn it into a victory? You are going to figure it out because you have the Ten of Cups here in your immediate future. So there is some type of emotional fulfillment coming from a relationship here, family life, okay? Clarify the Ten of Cups for immediate future. And this may even be you, Aquarius, making a decision on your own without the other person, right? Only you will know that. Five of Cups, ooh, with Strength card. There we go. It's like, okay, I'm going to find my own happiness because being in this situation is causing me deep sad. I'm sinking. My ships are sinking when I'm in this energy and I may have to walk away from something. It's going to require a lot of strength, which is the orb. So the universe is guiding you. Yeah. And you're taking a leap of faith in a new direction and ending one situation so that you can become the empress and live the life that is best for you. We also have your energy right now as the queen of cups. So you have been in your heart, in your emotions, very, very um, reflective, wanting to heal yourself. I think that you've been asking yourself some pretty serious questions, Aquarius, about who you are, what you are, what does love mean to you? You're very loving and you, you want so much to give your love to somebody and you want it to be reciprocated. Clarify the Queen of Cups, please. Holy Spirit. Yeah, Ace of Swords. You want to express <clears throat> and communicate 
your love, your truth to someone, okay? Um, this Ten of Cups. You want to express to this person what it is you, you want to be aligned, what it is you need to be emotionally fulfilled. Because I do feel like you're not emotionally fulfilled. This is past lives, which is the death card in a traditional tarot, Scorpio energy here. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. You need to have a conversation. You've discovered something within your heart and you need to speak a truth or have some type of conversation regarding how to transition into the Ten of Cups because you're in the Ten of Swords right now. So you may be ending something to move in to better times with this Ten of Cups, which is what we saw up here. This is the Strength card coming to you. You're about to gain this strength by speaking your truth, okay? The other person's energy towards you and the situation is the Five of Cups. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of heartbreak. Um, there is something that is over. There's a lot of remorse and guilt for how things went. Somebody wishes that, you know, things had gone differently or maybe that they acted differently. Clarify the five of cups, please. Ace of cups. They, they are reminiscing on this love that they have for you because there's a lot of love here. They want a new beginning with you. Judgment. Wow. Yeah, they're really going through some type of awakening here where they're recognizing and realizing who you are and what you meant to them. I think what's difficult for them is that they don't know what the future holds. And that's what's holding them back. That's what's fearful for that's what's causing them to be fearful. You have the King of Cups here. So it's like this person is going through a transition, a healing because of the sadness of this possibly ending. And they're transitioning from the Knight and the Page into the King. Okay. Your hopes and fears is the Wheel of Fortune. You're very hopeful that things start moving in your favor that you've learned lessons that you don't have to deal with these cycles anymore that this person can you know get it together that you can heal your le lessons and learn from them so that you don't have to keep repeating on this pattern over and over and that's your fear your fear is that you're just going to continue on this hamster wheel and not actually make forward movement okay the outcome for this connection um, is the six of swords so I see you walking away from something difficult, something that's no longer serving you and moving into calmer waters. Clarify the Six of Swords, please, for the probable outcome of this connection. Death. This is the Fool energy. Yeah, you're, you're walking away from something to create a new beginning here. This is the King of Pentacles, so we had that in the past. This is you walking away from something that was not stable, that was not creating or giving you, you know, financial stability, life stability, and now you're taking a leap of faith. With the Nine of Birds, you are a little bit nervous about it though. That's the Nine of Swords. So there's this need for you to take a leap of faith and gain control over your anxiety, worries, and fears because whatever we think about the most is what's going to become our reality, right? So I feel that you're walking away from difficult situations to help yourself come to a peace of mind, forgive me, so that you can be more peaceful, so that you can see clearly. I think that you're very tired of living on the edge, right? Because this anxiety is just overwhelming at times. Holy Spirit, please clarify. I'm sorry, Holy Spirit, forgive me. Closing messages, please, for Aquarius in regards to this situation. Closing messages, please, for Aquarius. A time for healing. Can't be more on point. A time for healing. A win-win outcome is forecast. So just remember that. A win-win outcome. No matter what, you're going to win. So let the lessons come in. Have faith in your dreams. If you're worried about them not happening, then how can you say that you actually have faith and believe in God? 
If you do, you won't be worried. Surrender to the divine, just like he's saying. Stop being worried. Surrender to me. That's the fool energy. And balance spirituality and practicality. Exactly what I was saying. You cannot have so much fear, worry, and anxiety inside of you if you believe in God and are balanced spiritually. If you know him, then you know him. These are just lessons. Take from them what you can and heal yourself, Aquarius. Sending you guys much love.